How's it going everybody? Doi here with another Dragon Ball Fighters video for you all today. And in this video, we are going to be talking about something I have gotten a lot of questions over the months about. And that is about the next character, Janemba. Where is all the DLC news and why does it feel like all of this stuff is progressing so slowly? I guess I should start off by saying that if you have been feeling this way, you really aren't making that up. It has almost been two months since we first learned of Janemba. And ever since then, it's been radio silent. The way we first heard about his inclusion into the game was right alongside Goku GT's release, Xbox did this weekly roundup thing talking about the week of Goku and how to celebrate, Goku GT skins would be coming to the game along with Janemba skins. Obviously those skins aren't really skins, they were just character colors, things like that, lobby avatars that you get along with buying the characters. When I made my video on it, I called it a leak by Xbox, but they later went on to say, no, this was more of an announcement, we asked them, they were totally fine with us mentioning this. Still to this day, I'm not entirely sure if they knew what they did or if this is how Arxis genuinely wanted Janemba news to get out there, but either way, the news got out there nonetheless. So already we've learned about the character that they probably wanted us to stay wondering about for at least a little while longer. I figured maybe they would do a V-Jump reveal like they did for Goku GT and all characters of the past, maybe that same month, but Dragon Ball Fighters actually did miss the V-Jump issue for May. I thought, oh, then that's, you know, no big deal. We're pretty much guaranteed to see some Janemba news in that June V-Jump. Actually, nope, scratch that. They missed that one too. And now here we are in July and we still don't even have screenshots of the guy. The bright side of things is that now this is 100% going to be the month where we do get more about Janemba. So while none of this is confirmed, here is how I think the rest of this month will go for DLC news for Dragon Ball Fighters. If we're lucky, we'll get some screenshots of Janemba in the V-Jump leaks later on this month. I'm talking 17th, 18th, or 19th. That's usually around when the issue leaks and we'll see whether or not he makes it in there. Whether or not he makes it in there though, it really doesn't matter because Evo is right after that and you know, it's pretty much a rule at this point. If you are a current fighting game that has ongoing DLC, you kind of have to show something off for Evo. That's really just the way it is. Last year for Dragon Ball Fighters, they were really hyping up the base Saiyans around this time, but because it was Evo and they were a Sunday game on the main stage, they also showed off our first look at Cooler. This was really awesome to see because up until this point, we hadn't seen any footage of Cooler or screenshots at all. It was really just a tournament announcement, a standalone. Something we wouldn't see again until the Dragon Ball Fighters World Tour. Whether or not we'll see something like that again at this Evo is unlikely though, in my opinion. And here's what really makes me think that. So in the game's first Evo, we had already seen trailer footage of the base Saiyans as well as V-Jump leaks for the base Saiyans. So we had pretty much already known about the characters, we knew what they were going to look like, and we knew that they had a dramatic finish together, all of that stuff. Really the only way they could make the Evo announcement hype was by throwing in that little bit of cooler footage at the end as an unexpected bonus. Not to mention that Season 1 was also comprised of 8 characters instead of 6, and they released two at a time, which really only adds on to how slow season two feels as a whole. When you add all that up and the fact that we haven't even seen Janemba yet, it really wouldn't surprise me if they expected Janemba footage alone to hold us over. I didn't even mention it before, but Dragon Ball Fighters also isn't a Sunday game this year. That doesn't take away from the prestige of it being at Evo, but the Sunday games definitely usually are the more favored ones. Uh, those are the ones that are on the big stage, everybody's watching Sunday, uh, and Dragon Ball Fighters won't be there. The finals will be held on Saturday. So as for when this hypothetical trailer for Janemba would take place, I really don't know. Probably after the Dragon Ball Fighters event on Saturday, but you want it out in front of as big of an audience as you can get for stuff like this. But yeah, that's pretty much everything I had to say about Janemba specifically and when you can expect news from him. Just as a quick recap though, let's summarize all that up very quickly. So this month, maybe around the 17th through 19th, you can expect to see V-Jump leaks come out and Janemba may or may not be in there. If he is or he isn't though, it really doesn't matter because Evo is right after that, in which I definitely think seeing Janemba is almost 100% certain at this point. If we are crazy, crazy lucky, maybe at Evo, we will also see our first hints at the next character, whether it be uh, Gogeta Blue or Broly. I believe if it is going in order of the way the characters are shown, it would be Gogeta Blue, but I do want to stress that that would be a wild thing to see. I definitely do not expect that. Now I kind of want to jump into what the rest of the year might be looking like for Dragon Ball Fighters and the rough beats along the way of when you can expect to see new information for Gogeta and Broly to come out. Fair warning though, I really don't know what they're going to do with Gogeta, Blue, and Broly. Obviously, you would expect to see some sort of dramatic finish between those two, but does the fact that they release one at a time affect that? Or maybe do they want to release both at the same time as kind of like a big celebration event? I don't know. I'm going to work under the assumption that they will continue to release one at a time, even 
even with Gogeta, Blue, and Broly. With this in mind, it's important to remember that there is a Dragon Ball Fighters World Tour going on now, and while we don't yet know the date for the finals, it is important to remember that last year's finals ended January 26th through the 27th. While the last piece of DLC we got for Season 1 actually came out September 27th, so there was actually a pretty long wait between Season 1 ending and Season 2 starting up that a lot of people seem to underestimate. There was actually a decent chunk of time where there was just plain no news for Dragon Ball Fighters at all. At the time though, the player base was pretty upset with how long of a wait that is, so I wouldn't be surprised at all to see Gogeta come out sometime late September, and then maybe around December we get Broly, and then that could smoothly transition us into the World Tour Finals. We'll have all the characters at our disposal to play with, and that'll just make a great final event, a great send-off to Dragon Ball Fighters Season 2, and then we'll see what they do with the game from there. And of course, in between the months of Gogeta Blue and Broly being released, you will obviously get those same V-Jump reveals, 30 second trailers coming out the month after the V-Jump, things like that, the standard Dragon Ball Fighters procedure, that's something they haven't changed actually, uh, they've kept that pretty consistent and I see no reason as for why they would change that, but yes, that pretty much closes up everything I think you can expect for Dragon Ball Fighters DLC moving forward, and yeah, I know, it really sucks, it's a long wait, the cut from 8 characters to 6 has been a difficult thing to adjust to, and I think moving forward with the game, if they do decide to do a Dragon Ball Fighters 2 or a Season 2, they should definitely be looking at the way they handle DLC uh, for this game. Maybe look to moving it announcements to tournaments. Things like that I think are great for fighting games because they increase viewership for those key moments. Uh, and maybe they make people just really like tournaments in general so they go out and seek out more locals stuff like that. It keeps the game growing naturally, but that's just something I have always wanted to see for fighters. I would love to see a major one day and have that major end with an announcement for a character or a 30 second trailer, something like that. But yeah, guys, let me know your thoughts on this long wait between DLC, how you're dealing with it. Are you still enjoying fighters? Is it still fresh to you? All of that down below in the comments, please let me know down there. I read most of the comments and try to reply to as many as I can. So I always appreciate you guys taking time out of your day to let me know what you think down there. While you are down there though, if you like this video and the channel, Make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to stick around for all things fighting games and of course Dragon Ball Fighters news. If another thing like that Xbox thing happens where they leak something, I will definitely be there day one to talk about it because I just love this game so much, man. But yeah, thank you so much for the support. If you want to watch another video of mine, there should be some on your screen. I have been Dr. Doya and I will see you in the next video.